Let's talk about one and a quarter squats. So these are, let me just show you. So you come down and then you come up a little bit, but then you come back down and then you come all the way back up. So what's the point of this? To me, this is kind of like uh, meathead lore, do extra reps. So every time I do four reps, it's like I'm actually doing five, right? <laughs> um, I can't even take myself seriously after saying that. So these squats are a good way to, one, fatigue the muscle a lot, because it's difficult to do that. But two, they work similar to tempo squats, where you're, you're doing a slower movement and you're, you're learning how to keep tension on that muscle, right? So you can even kind of bounce out of this, but you still have more fatigue building during this period. Now, there's all this talk about time under tension. Like you want your, mu your muscles to be under tension. You want them to be tense. You want them to be contracted. Um, you want them to be working. That in itself is not really that important. It's how intense is it for you to continue to do? So if I'm looking for hypertrophy, which is generally why I'm going to be doing a variation like this, just something different for you to give a shot to, um, something to keep you a little bit more motivated or um, something that's a little more novel for your brain to try out. Uh, this keeps more tension for a longer time, which can help you fatigue. So the principle is squatting can fatigue you and that's what you're looking for if you're building muscle, but you don't have to just do normal squats. You can do these, these weird one and a quarter squats too. And that's just a fun way to change things up. So don't throw away old normal squats. You may not even have to do one and a quarter squats, but feel free to give them a shot. I think they're kind of fun. I don't really do them that often because I think normal squats are plenty, but uh, they're, they're nice if you want to change something up.